Enslaved Freedoms Poems in a World of Robotic Mobiles by Jim Frieser Spanish-English version of the book How Poems Poem 2 She Copyright Jim Frieser MP4 Bilingual Digital Edition April 2020 Hello My name is Selma I am the digitized robot designed and programmed by Jim Frieser to transcribe the poems of her new book Enslaved Freedoms Poems in a World of Robotic Mobiles Managed by Big Data I Selma am living in a world of robotic architecture and I cannot perceive emotions, nor express feelings, nor capture odors or perfumes. But, Jim Frieser has programmed me so that I can at least understand them. And the best way to do it is to speak, slowly, as I do now, trying to internalize paragraphs, stanzas, and poetic verses. I now live in the cloud, and I have reached it without realizing it. From post-truths, which seemed to me absolute truths, that I had embedded in my mobile and as a consequence of advertising spots like the one that said, the brain is already in the cloud, without realizing it, without noticing it, all of a sudden, I have found myself in a pre-robotized world, which has become more and more and more. Without knowing it, without realizing it, my personal data, my body parameters, my data on hobbies, tastes, clothing measurements and intimate questions about my private life, and all the conversations, photos and images that I have received, captured and sent by mobile, they have all gone to big data. That is, to the cloud which according to what Jim Frieser has explained to me, through data mining methods, have been processed and controlled by the great digital eye, which controls, directs and remote control all the big data of the global world. This great eye, has a detailed personal and individual record of all my data, and of millions of people, who without realizing it, are absorbing, capturing, and embedding. The author Jim Frieser captures the possibility of reaching a world of enslaved wills in robotic fashion. This poem too, describes she, which is a very special case, it is an antithesis of enslaved freedoms. Here, is this poem, with an anaphoric structure, and later, I will make you some reflections on it. She, who has always been free, who has never been tied. She, who during the dictatorship, did what she wanted, and now, continues to do it. She, who worked on Sunday mornings, and in the afternoon hitchhiked on secondary roads. She, who arrived before the train and the bus. She, who was the first to wear a miniskirt, when everything was long. She, who wore colored stockings, when everything was black. She, who entered for free, when everyone had already bought the ticket. She, who already wore half a mane of light blue black with straight bangs, when La Gabriel was stellar dust. She, whom the villagers of the town confused with a girl made in Japan. She, who had worked since the 14 years all along the coast, cutting, coloring and fixing hair with the label, here unisex, when sex was still a taboo. She, who always had in her mouth, a shetty of extra long fresh menthol cinnamon, so that the kiss me tasted better. She, to whom the bad temper lasted a few seconds, a few, and changed, it immediately for a smile that spread. She, who wore no perfume, because her irresistible charm, was made of patchouli flowers. She, who had already left through the back door, before the Guardia Civil, 
had entered through the main. She, who answered with a, I don't see, can you clean my eye, which has masked me, when the grisses, asked him, where are you going? She, who charged the pay on Sundays for the work of the week, without knowing what a credit was or a savings bank. She, who dressed in the latest fashion, without knowing what the fashion was. She, who showed thin legs, and showed the plain belly with a mini top, when everything was down. She, who, in winter, wore summer, when they were all wearing a turtleneck. She, who wore comfortable shoes with a very high sole, thinking people who were orthopedic. She, who never called on the phone, except to ask if the expected letter had not been lost. She, that the clock, almost always, had it without rope and stopped. She, who showered three times a day, and continues to do so today, with water from the well of her Vilamola, which the oldest have never seen dry. She, who did what she wanted, and now she continues to do it. She, she, that, without ties and unhindered, freely, goes where she wants. Now, now, has returned, to step on again the land of the garden that saw her born. Now, he has returned to take care of his parents. And it continues without a mobile, and without a watch, and, if you wear it, it is a bracelet without batteries. It continues without the ligation of the internet, and without knowing what the cloud or the network is. Continue fixing and cutting the hair, leaving the olive leaves, like the hair of the Mona Lisa. Nobody ties her, nobody controls her, nobody expects her, nobody supervises her. Now, as before, he continues to breathe freedom, and goes wherever he pleases. And so ends the poem she. No chips or microchips. Keep breathing deeply. Breathing freedom. Breathing freedom. Why do you want a mess of these, a smartphone? Which would be his shadow if the gloom is only the sun? I Selma, digitized robot, I want to stop being nobody, nobody, inside the cloud, and to be someone again in the paradise of the always young poets of the sun root. Jim Frieser has prepared the path for me, the way to achieve it. The internalized reading of these poems is the first step, the first step to re-savor the fragrance of patchouli perfume, and the heated smiles that shake me. Soon, very soon, I will get down from the cloud and meet her, she. See you later.